and for the so many a time I have come to you as the Sheoshant to bring you, of course, first of all, foremost, to all our friends in the United States again, a great congratulations. The times need to be ended once and for all where people are continuing to be racist and racism is still alive and well in the heart of certain people around the planet. And I have to say that definitely his uh, so-called eminence James Francis Cardinal Stafford criticized President-elect Barack Obama. You know, he said that uh, as an aggressive, deruptive, uh, deruptive and apocalyptic and said he campaigned on an extremist anti-life form. Nothing is further from the truth. Haven't you seen my friends all over the world, especially you Zoroastrians? This man loves children. <laughs> when he was there upon the platform and he did his acceptance speech, who were there? His lovely wife and his lovely children. So he is not anti-life. But uh, the so-called eminence, James Francis Cardinal Stafford, seems to be raising up some energy upon this, uh, shall we say, United States platform? No, not really, around the world that is, or that has a sentiment anti-Obama. Let me tell you, it is highly, highly necessary that the United States of America is the forerunner. The forerunner to show the world that they are able and capable and wise to elect an other than a Caucasian individual which will open the door. First Nations. Of course, I, I had hoped uh, somewhere in my heart of heart that the day would come that America or Canada would elect a First Nations president. But you know, progress is being made big time and there they have at this very moment the greatest historical jubilous fact for all people of race, creed and color that the United States has grown up and has elected President Obama and his family and whoever he is going to ask to fill the slate of the government in the United States. But I have an apple to peel here yet. When this gentleman brings up, because I hope he is a gentleman, his eminence, that he brings up in his speech and uh, has to uh, note Pope Paul and Pope John Paul uh, being true in body and soul, but what they have to do with the election of Mr. Obama and his family in the United States of America. Unless you are swinging back and fro and you are creating unrest amongst your followers, maybe you are a little worried that your followers, the Roman Catholic uh, following, may uh, start to become also more liberal or, let we say, wise and open wisdom. Someone told me a while ago and said it is a disgusting thing because Cardinal Stafford said Catholics must deal with the hot, angry tears of betrayal. Well, I can't see that Mr. Obama betrayed anyone. That's a major, major uh, statement here that they are crying hot tears of betrayal. How about the betrayal that went by Vatican throughout of the ages of the Zoroastrians, the Zoroastrians, the Jews, 
that you took the Zoroastra story, Zarathustran story, and made it the Jesus story. And if you are awakening and become wise, then you know well that this is a story that is thousands of years old and that it was taken out of the library of Alexandria three and a half thousand years ago, that it was tuned up and cranked up and made that what could be used what today you are following, the Roman Catholic Church. Some of you will say, we have never heard you this outspoken. But it is time to be outspoken when some so-called eminence starts to attack a simple, humble soul who is an admirer of Abraham Lincoln, definitely one who was sent here to the planet by the all of the all, the all perfect, the all divine, one only creator upon this planet. And that this man, his great intent is to bring a fair and just society about. Also a person who spoke up against the war, who is speaking up against Guantanamo Bay. When has the Roman Catholic Church spoken, uh, spoke up? against Guantanamo Bay about the torture that's taking place. When has it become here upon this planet that people can stand up and be free? When did Vatican actively show during World War II in Europe? You see, I'm a survivor of World War II. I can tell some very shocking stories about the activities of the Vatican speaking with a forked tongue so that they could have themselves hang in there. But it was atrocious. And how Vatican still discriminates against people that are Protestant. How Vatican still discriminate and when you happen to be Jewish you better listen. Because there are hundreds and hundreds of thousands so-called Roman Catholics who still hate the Jewish race. Never mind how we have been belittled as Zoroastrians and Zoroastrians around the planet. 